So I'm going to switch now to the black pencil and work up the darker details. So again, I'm going to start with the hair. Quite a spiky hairstyle. There's quite a lot of hair showing up here. Standing up. Now the photograph will darken the shadows, particularly in the hair. So you don't want to make it too black. Um, he was actually quite a sort of fair as a child. Um, and looking at the photograph, you, you might actually think he had brown hair, which I, I know that he didn't. So that's one of the advantages of meeting your, your subject. So I'm going to keep it a little bit lighter. The advantage of the pastel paper is that it, that can do some of the work. It's, it's giving you a mid-tone to work on, so we're working uh, darker in some areas and we've already put on some lights. You can use the pressure of the pencil to make some darker areas, so that hair is going back. This is coming forward. And you can see that I'm doing the pastel lines in the direction of the lie of the hair. This is a little spiky bit up the top here. That's quite good, that. This is going back over and round the head. So let's get that going round. Back here. A little bit darker at the sides. Okay, so that's the hair for the time being. And I'm just going to go now into the into the ear. I think the ear is one of those forgotten features. You tend to think, oh yes, it's just an ear, but actually um, it can also add quite a lot of character. Now, if I go any, anywhere I've gone a little bit too dark, maybe I don't think that ear should be quite as dark, I can actually just take a, a putty rubber and just lift a little bit if I want to. Just lighten that a bit. Now, the features on a child's head are much more delicate than on an adult, so you have to be careful not to go in too heavily. Again, on the photograph, his eyebrows look quite dark, but I think I'm going to make them a little bit lighter. They need to be seen, but not to be too dark. That'll do for the time being. So I'm going to go into the eyes now. Eyelashes. At this stage, if you are drawing um, somebody who's got long eyelashes, you can really see the eyelashes. I don't like to put them in at first. I like to leave them to the last, so I can get the shape of the eye in first. Let's look at the, put in the, iris now and the pupil carefully going around that highlight that I put in to start with onto the other eye and then down dark the dark pupil right in the middle obviously the eye is receiving quite a lot of reflection apart from the white highlight um, there's a reflection as well. There's also a slight shadow. The top lid will cast a slight shadow on the white. So just sort of very delicately draw that in. Now we've got a, the eyelid to go in as well. Right, so now I'm going to carry on and do the nose. Again, this needs to be fairly delicate, not too much shadow here. Bring out the nostrils and then down to the mouth. Now, he's looking quite serious in this photograph, but of course it's artistic license, so you can really do what you like with the photograph. So I'm going to make him look a little bit happier and make him smile a bit. So I'm just going to just look, look at that. Just turn the corners of the mouth up a little bit. Hasn't that made a difference to his expression? Doesn't look quite so sullen now. Taking photographs of children you have to take lots of them. They pull all sorts of funny expressions and can lark about as well. If you've got lots of photographs to work from, um, it's much better. 
Right, let's just get the sides of the outline of his face a little bit clearer. He's got a little bit of hair actually behind the ear there, coming down. And now I'm going to turn the pencil on its side. I've used, been using a point so far and I want some soft shadows going in. So I'm just going to very shade him very softly around here. A little bit down the side of the nose. Under the nose, don't forget the nose is the thing that sticks out from the face most. So shadow under the nose. People are very often frightened to put enough shadow in there. And a little bit of shadow cast under here. Again, something that doesn't really sharpen the photograph, but needs to be there. A uh, little bit of shadow down the side here, just indicate the chin a little bit. And um, maybe a question of just blending a little bit in with your finger as well. Now, around this is the just a bit of his neck showing there, so let's just shade in behind that to make that prominent, and the collar is coming under and tucking under his chin. So now I'm going to do a little bit of detail in the shirt. Of course, the, it, we probably dressed him in the wrong attire here, really, because he had a stripy shirt on. You could just leave this plain if you wanted to, if you felt that it, the stripes were too much. I quite like the, the stripes, um, and I think it's, uh, it sort of contributes to his personality. He's quite a spirited, spirited lad. Uh, and so I think uh, he probably shows the shirt and so I'm going to put the stripes in. But as I say, if you, if you find something like this too difficult or too daunting, then by all means just look at the shape of the collar and the shirt and just put a bit of shading in. Right, let's just get some. And of course, the stripes actually do help to sh show the, the form, the contour um, of his pose. They don't have to be 100% accurate. Uh, the important thing is to not to let the ta clothing take over. So Quite fun doing this, really. There's the shoulder there. Just a few more here. Right, that's got those in. Now that I've put the shirt in, the face is sort of losing a bit of uh, its strength. So I'm going to go back in and sharpen up some lines on the face with my black pencil. So the eyes are the feature that wants to stand out most. So I'm going to just darken this and the pupils here. There's a little line of shadow or sort of eyelashes under his eye there. Now back to a little bit more to the, let's do this eye as well. Into the nose a little bit. And just a little bit more to the mouth. Well, I've got the black in here, a little bit more to the hair. The bones that come up here are quite um, prominent, so he's forming a shadow here at his temple. So again, I'm turning the pencil on its side just to increase the, that line of shadow up there, which is quite characteristic of his face there. That's better. A little bit more in his hair. Now that's brought the face up a bit stronger now. Now I'm going to go back to, with my white pencil and just sharpen up those highlights. Start of the hair again. Be careful you don't rub your hand over the, the pencil. Obviously it's pastel, it is, can be smudgy. If, you, if you're in danger of doing that, you could always put a sheet of paper across and, and work over, but I'm going to be careful. So white highlights here on the hair, up the top here. Some of these coming through. Across here a little bit more. Now, what we've got is a highlight across the forehead. We haven't got a lot of form in the forehead, so I'm going to use the white pastel pencil on its side again and put in a soft highlight coming through here. A little bit down the center of the nose as well. Across 
across the cheeks. Now I think I need to put a few highlights around the eye. What you often get is a, a white highlight just right in there in the corner of the eye. That sort of brings the eye to life and the bottom lid catches the light as well. So I'm going to go in there and that gives a little bit of sparkle to the eyes. We need to go back in and get that white highlight back. And possibly just a little bit of highlight just in the bottom there. Into the nose. And a little bit on the chin. Sometimes you get a highlight on the bottom lip as well, which he has just a little bit here. And then perhaps just a few highlights, not too many, but just to sort of coordinate the shirt with the head as well, so it's not in isolation. Just a few highlights back in the shirt. Now you could consider that the finished drawing, but if you wanted to, to add a little bit of colour, you could use a brown or a terracotta pastel pencil and just add a hint of colour. So I'm going to go and put a little bit in the cheek. It just gives a little bit more warmth to the face. Use a, use a clean finger to smudge it in. A little bit in the eyes, you get a bit of colour in the tear duct. Maybe the corner of the eye. It just helps to animate the eye a little bit. Perhaps a little bit in the ear. A little bit in the ear here. Maybe just a little bit in the chin. Just a little bit, just a few strokes, doesn't have to be a lot. A little bit in the nose, these are areas, the nose, the eyes, the ears, that are always a little bit pinker than the rest of the face anyhow. And maybe just a little bit in the neck there. So there we have the finished drawing. In the next programme, I'm going to be doing a portrait of an adult using water-soluble pencils. Now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home whenever you wish. The extended version of today's workshop is now available to order on DVD from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.